looking a bit sorry for itself. Don't worry mate, today's the day. We are getting it painted. What colour are we painting it? Oh, I'll show you. So the other day I was down here and I used the bumper as my practice piece, obviously on the last video. It didn't go too well, but I came down the other day, just flattened that down with 600 and then this is what um, I get out of the gun. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the booth was dirty at that point, so I've got a few little bits in it. But I'm not painting in a controlled environment, so I'm always going to expect that anyway. But today is Sunday, um, the weather is perfect, it's bank holiday tomorrow, so I've got all the time in the world. Uh, the wife has given me free pass to get the shell painted, so... Got permission. Bits. Got permission, mate, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's get to the work. Alright, so just got a few little bits of prep to do, just a few bits of reactors, so I've got a sand them back down. We've got door shuts to sand around the window cowl, although I'm not that fussed on the smoothness of that. I'm going to do that, give it a nice clean, and then get it inside and get it up. So what's going on with the car? Alright, so the car's in the booth, it is prepped, all taped up, um, jacked up, we've got the heaters in there so it's getting nice and warm. All we've got to do now is one last degrease, uh, mix up the paint and get spraying. Uh, I'm excited and nervous. Just checking the instructions out, Steve. Professional. Never read instructions. Oh. Look, he's grabbing it. I need that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so, same as last time, we need to put a white base coat down because any other colour can like send the yellow off. So, one white base coat, it should be fine. And then we'll probably do two coats of yellow and then two or three coats of lacquer. And it should be shining. Just a perspective on how long we've actually been here. Alright, so what time is it now? Quarter to ten? Quarter to ten. Uh, I got down here at half past three. It uh, was bright. Yeah, bear in mind the car was pretty much ready to go. Uh, just needed a few touch-ups and that. Uh, but, yeah, masking up, uh, doing all that stuff, setting the booth up, we clean the booth out. Uh, it all takes time. And this is why all these YouTubers just wrap the car, because you can have it done on the weekend. But it'd be worth it in the end. Uh, we try and do it the right way on the DIY tuners. So yeah, uh, let's lay some paint. All right, so Steve's just going over the car one last time with a tack cloth to try and pick up any last remaining pieces of dirt or debris or anything that's laying on the bodywork. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering why he's spray painting his car black right now, uh, he's using what's called an etch primer. Uh, and what an etch primer does is you want to spray it over any bare metal. And this will prevent the paint from peeling in the future. Because you've got to remember, it's all in the prep. You can't cut corners when it comes to painting a car. Not unless you want it looking like your grandma's old banger that she's got sitting on her driveway. So anyway, without further ado, let's paint the car.
How'd it go? Uh, laid down nice, mate. Yeah? A lot nicer than it did last time. Turns out when you pin it down like you're supposed to, it's pretty so high. <laughs> so yeah, we'll let that flash off and then we'll get some yellow on there. What does flash off mean, Steve? Well, basically the solvents that are in the paint that carry the paint to the surface, uh, they have to leave. If you paint while they're still there, you get uh, like blistering, cause solvent pop, uh, basically knackers your paint job. Time, mate. It's time. You're going yellow. It's going to look like that, but on the car. Like a banana, mate. Like a banana. No going back now. I'll fuck it now. Stay still. Is that is that a new trend to have yellow eyelashes, mate? Yeah. And yellow beard as well, look. Yeah, so. Right, guys. So Jordan's got to go now. It's midnight. We've been at it 12 hours, and I'm only on to the second stage of base. So he's gonna go. I'm gonna stay until the tiny hours of the morning. So I guess we'll say bye, and I will catch you tomorrow when it's finished. Let's go uh, see Steve, see uh, if he's done the RX-7 finally. He's been working on it all night. Jesus, this door's heavy. Morning, mate. What Morning. you, uh... Morning. What? Oh, sorry, mate. Internet was down. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Well, She's done. It looks yellow. It's yellow, mate. Should we get outside? I think we should get it outside. Can't wait to see it in the sun. Let's go see it in the Let's sun. Go. Let's go. So you happy with it then? Yes mate. So I need to remind myself every... Oh fucking stuff that again. So you happy with it then mate? I am mate. So I need to remind myself that I'm not a professional and I painted it in a dusty booth with no extraction. So there's a few little bits on the car um, that I'm going to have to buff out. Like there's a little sag around here uh, in the lacquer. Uh, we've got a little run near the filler cap. And then a few little dust nibs that you'd probably get on most paint jobs anyway. Uh, but these runs are mainly due to the lighting because you can't see how wet the lacquer's is going down. But, you know, this is my first full paint job on a car. It's cost me about 600 quid in total. So I am over the moon with it. Um, all we've got to do now is paint the rest of it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next video will probably be Jordan doing a cinematic on the full car because I'm not going to bore you painting every single panel. Uh, we'll do like a reveal on it. And yeah, still got plenty of work to do. So thanks for watching, smash that like button and I'll see you next time.